Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia! Let's explore Alistair and get a little more background on the world. By the way, those pillars of light there, they're save points there. So, just so you know, if you're playing on the DS, that's where you would uh, get them. Oh, really? Was he in his office for a change? No. No. He, uh, well, apparently not in his office there. He has the body of a Greek god, maybe. Let's find out. I'm glad he's on our side. Yeah, he does seem like a capable guy. Oh, alright. I'm trying to go through the text a little slower in this episode, so, well, we'll see how that works. Hey, hey, talk to me! There you go. Yeah, it seems like it. Doesn't seem like it's polluted or anything at all. Hmm. Well, th then why are they kicking our ass if we've got all this technology on our side? And there's nothing in that house for now. Remember that for later, viewers. Oh, really? Well, yeah, military's got to have engineers, too. Oh. So they spend all the taxes on that instead of actual weapons! And we get some more of the goddamn brand tea. Absolutely. There's a weapon shop up there, but I don't want to go there quite yet. What is a ward, anyway? I mean, in this context. Prophet Noah, huh? Never heard of him. Oh, really? Huh. Well, I'm glad he's on our side, too. Yeah, I'm going to try and bring them in if I ever see them. Oh. Huh. Well, that's odd. I thought they were bad guys. Well, let's find out. Remember that for later, viewers. What kind of stories? Well, they serve alcohol in this game? I thought they only served milk in JRPGs at bars. Yeah, we need your strength to get drunk! It boosts your stamina and makes all your enemies look like they're five levels lower than they actually are. Well, not in this game. That, that's another game. Yeah, they especially recommend the salad at this bar. Not that kind of salad, you perverts. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Well, it's better than being a, a... No, no, no. I'll bite my tongue on that one. Oh, yeah, we already heard about that. Huh. Uh, what do you mean by that? I don't think anything ever comes of that, now that I think about it. Well, whatever. Pay no attention to that. Seriously, that, does, that actually doesn't mean anything, at least as far as I know. Well, who's Ivan? What are you, in a, a school play or something? Oh! Oh, okay. You better take her out, too, I guess. Well, then maybe you should give her a different part in your play, if you ever want to get in her dress. Yeah, because she's such a... jerk. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, it does seem like a nice day around here. What do you mean? Oh! Hmm. Well, that's odd. He, he's still alive, right? What do you mean by that? Remember that for later, viewers. Oh, okay, we can't get past them. I don't know why they're blocking this off from us right now. It's not like there's like some really good equipment or treasure. I mean, you can find treasure there, but it's nothing like obscene. That's like, why would they block it off now? I, I don't know. Yeah, that, you got me on that one, viewers. I, I don't know why. Yeah, how's it going? Well, yeah, that is true. Well, it's right on our front doorstep. You could go to the other side, but I wouldn't recommend it. We're gonna win this war. Satyros? Gutrals? I don't know how you pronounce them. Oh, why would they say that? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know of any negative side effects. Well, pay no attention to them. I'm, I'm sure they're just uh, BSing us. Okay, how's it going? 
Oh, so they do. Oh, nuts. Oh, well. So I guess they're kind of like beast men? Let's find out. Well, I'm sure we'll never run into any of them anyway, though. We're battling Grenor. And here we get 300 Gs. All right. Now we'll have the money to buy some stuff, but uh, let's finish up in the first ward here first. Well, it's a good bottom. Uh, people kill each other, pretty much. Now over there, we got the item shop. We can buy, well, buy items there. Nothing particularly interesting. In fact, usually I don't buy a whole lot of items in the game, but if you want to, you can. Oh, a general store, I'm sorry. But yeah, they sell restorative items. They sell some battle items, too. Uh, we got HP, MP, restoring, status curing items. Poison wings can inflict poison on an enemy if you really wanted to. Uh, I think there might be some instances where I might want that, but uh, nothing I want to buy there for now. So we'll, uh, we'll save that for later. And there's an it. Just like any other RPG, you rest up there, it restores your HP and MP to full. Fortunately, it doesn't cost very much in this ver well, in this game. I almost said this version of the game, but uh, no, there's only one version of this game. So, but up here we can get some beast skins. All right. Well, let's equip that on stock there first. It, he's the only one who can equip that, and it gives him a little stat boost on his defense and magic defense. So that's pretty nice. Uh, beast or th that kind of armor that's an, a robe, I guess you would call it. Those generally have better magic defense, whereas the brigandine that he had before, like a plate mail or whatever body armor that is, that generally has better physical defense. In general, I don't care about magic defense at all in this game. Physical defense is where it's at. What do you mean by that? Ah, well, I'm sure that's not important. Remember that for later, viewers. Okay, so now that we have the money, I want to buy a custom sword it right away just like that it's a little stronger for a stack there and if i can get never get to it there we go i want to equip the bronze sword on marco there so that way uh, well i just handed it down to him because it's a little stronger for him sell the excess equipment there and we're good to go all right well i think that's everything we want to do here and uh well you know i got a little bit more time than i thought i'd have i thought this would take a lot longer but uh now let's head on to Lasville Hills. We'll get started down there. It could be. Well, do the best I can. Let's do it! I guess she... I don't think that's a typo when she calls him Mark. I'm th I think she's just calling him that because, uh, well, they know each other. That's like a nickname, just or a name for short for him, I'm guessing. How's it going, big guy? Raj, man, look at that arm he's got there. Holy cow. I'd make a Mortal Kombat Jax reference or something, but uh, I only played the first three Mortal Kombat games. So, oh well. Specent is the abbreviation for Special Intelligence, just so you know. What are you getting at, Raj? You, you want in, or...? What do you mean by that? Yeah, I'm. Uh, it's always dangerous. It's a JRPG. What did you think you were getting into? Okay, what specifically bothers you about this one? Well, yeah, that's what happens when you're in the military. People die. Not always, but I mean, you know, it's part of the job description. What, more premonitions? I don't believe all these premonitions. But as we all know, in JRPGs, all rumors, legends, and premonitions are 100% accurate. And if they're not already true, then they will come true almost immediately. Absolutely. So yeah, he's got a mechanical arm called a gauntlet. Holy cow like to see that thing in action. Of course, I have both my arms. So, what do you mean? 
Nah, nah. Rush is just a drunk bloke. He just wants to have some company before you leave. Huh? What? What's going on? <laughs> I thought it, I think it's interesting that he said uses a specific color white. Scared way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. I, I'm I'll be fine. I mean, they're not going to kill me off in the first hour of the game. Well, yeah, pretty much. It's how I get my paycheck. It's either that or uh, you guys can fight Grenorg in the town, however you like it. Now, remember, he's with the military, and the military don't like much of these uh, special intelligence guys, I guess. Or at least that's what they were saying earlier. Well, uh, thanks for the warning. I'm guard! Now, I'll, I'll be in one piece. Don't worry about it. Oh, what about? Oh, yeah, I was about to say uh, they don't uh, do anything with that, but actually they do, now that I think about it. So, But you don't, you don't have to remember that for later, viewers. Don't worry about that. Oh, I was just letting you guys go on ahead and uh, do the work for me. Yeah, he's Rush. Yeah. He's more machine now than man. I mean, uh... Oh, uh, yeah, he's a very nice guy. Yeah, it's just metal, that's all. Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, let's move along. So yeah, when you get to the world map here, you get a map in the upper right corner there. You don't have random encounters or anything like that, so nothing to worry about there. Okay, so let's uh, check out this area. Just took a quick pause break there. I hope you like this music and the atmosphere of Lasville Hills, because we're going to be seeing a lot of this area. Oh, apparently not. Carry on. Move along. Oh. Oh, you mean that shortcut to the secret place? Well, okay, let's take the short, short version. Did I just make a Star Wars and a Spaceballs reference in the same episode? Wow. You loser. Okay, you guys take point and uh, put yourself at extreme risk. Fair enough. Let's go. Now, what does that little note emote over her head mean? I, mean, I guess that means she's pleased with what I said, but, uh, well, I, I guess. I I'm guessing. I don't know, but, uh, what's that? Whoa, holy crap! It's a flaming chicken! What? What? Flaming chicken? That's our first enemy in the game? A chicken that is on fire! Now, uh, they have a little tutorial here, but I'm not going to worry about that. So, uh, let's just get through this. Now, first things first, let's use our first skill that Stock has there. We got a bunch of different commands here, but uh, I'll go over them when it becomes pertinent. Use push assault. You can push the enemy into the back row, so they will deal less damage to you. So let's give that a try here. We got a three by three grid here, and we'll learn more about pushing enemies all around there, but you see how they uh, dealt less damage to me? So now I'm just gonna use auto battle with the Y button there, and finish off the enemy like so. So It gets more complicated, but you can move enemies around the three by three grid and such, and get multiple enemies onto the same part of the grid, and there's combos and all this other stuff, but uh, well, like I said, I don't wanna overwhelm you with too much at once there, but. And there's also that turn cue that we had on the top screen there, but uh, like I said, we'll get to that when we, when we do. Yeah, even though you've only known the pretty girl in the blue dress for five minutes, I trust you implicitly. Ha <laughs> ha. Aw, nice to have that kind of camaraderie here in, in this game. It's nice to be in charge of people who are 
remotely competent to save the world and qualified. But can we get the spy back home without getting ourselves killed in the process? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day, viewers. Ah, nice rain.